Today I'm preparing the meat filling for a steak and kidney pie. Now the cut of meat I'm using today is ox cheek. This is actually exactly what it sounds like. This is this is um, basically from the cheek of a of a cow. The reason I'm using this, I think it's one of the best cuts of meat for making pies. I'll just show you what what it's like inside. It would be a very unpromising cut of meat to try and cook and eat um, a steak or something like that because it has these lines of uh, connective tissue running through it. But what we're going to do today is casserole this um, very, in, very slowly in a slow cooker and all of this connective tissue will just dissolve out and, um, and completely melt away and that will form a really nice rich gravy uh, like a really thick stock. So, um, so what I'm going to do is cube this meat up into pieces I don't want two small chunks because I don't want them to cook away. They will tend to crumble when they're when they're cooked. So I'm going to make them into maybe thumb-sized pieces like that. So that's all my steak cut into cubes. And I'm just going to dust that with a little bit of flour. This flour does a couple of things really. One is that it will just add another dimension to the browning process, which we're going to start in a minute. But the other thing is that when once this goes into the casserole dish. The starch granules from all this flour will will expand and start to thicken the sauce to make a really really nice tasty gravy. So over here at the cooker, we've just got some vegetable oil that's heated up in a pan. My floured steak is just going to go straight in there to fry off, and I just need to brown that on every side. And br by browning, I'm actually going to go for quite a seared surface on this meat because that's where the flavour develops. And once that gets going, I will just crumble in a stock cube over the top. The salt in this stock cube will also assist with the browning process, and, um, and then afterwards we'll deglaze the pans for the gravy. Meanwhile, let's talk about the kidney. Now this is going to be a steak and kidney pie, so it's going to have kidney in it. And I, I know that offends some people, and some people think that's really gross and so on, and so on but I really like it. I, um, I think the flavour of kidney in a steak and kidney pie is actually almost like a, a seasoning. So anyway, this is a lamb's kidney, and I'm just going to put one kidney in this pie, and to prepare this, I'm just going to slice that down the middle, and look at that lovely meat in there, it's delicious, it's, in, it's, it's so tender and lovely, but I'm just going to make sure that I cut out all of this gristly bit in the middle. So I'm just going to cut this into nice little chunks and discard any bits of gristle in the middle there. And I'd just like to dispel a myth, really, about kidneys, because people people often say, when you eat kid, when when I eat kidneys and, and liver, they say, "Oh, you're eating a filter." Um, no, you're not. A filter is something that that removes things from a fluid and gets clogged, and you throw it away. This is just an organ. This is just a, another piece of meat, um, as far as I'm concerned, in in an animal. Um, there's no great mystery or you know, weirdness about it. It's just another bit of an animal. And then we've got some milk, and I'm just going to wash those kidney pieces in milk. This will help to, to just make them a milder, sweeter flavour in the pie. So I'm just going to leave them in there to soak while I finish cooking the steak. Just got a leek here, and all I did to, to cut this up, just sliced cross cuts into the end of the leek lengthways, leaving the root on. That was so I could open it up and rinse out the grit, but also because when I come to cut it like this, it makes it so much easier to cut into small pieces and it just cuts automatically straight up into little chunks. Perfect. Let's go back over to our steak. Now this is perfect, this is lovely. Look at that browning that we've got in there on all of those chunks, that's brilliant. Now this is the mistake that most people make when they're preparing meat for casserole or even ground or minced meat for uh, spaghetti bolognese or shepherd's pie, is inadequately browning the meat. Two things will happen if you, if you don't brown the meat um, adequately. One, one is that you, you lose all this, this flavour. All of these crispy bits here equate to meaty flavour in the sauce. Um, the other thing is that it just won't be quite as tender. So at this stage I'm just crumbling a beef stock cube, a good beef stock cube, over the top there and I'll just turn up the heat a little bit and give that a jiggle just so that this powdered stock cube will now coat the meat and just continue to give it a really caramelised crispy surface. 
Okay, now we're going to add the leeks. These don't need much of a fry, but we might as well give them a little bit of softening in the pan. And I'll just continue frying that now until those leeks have just started to go brown and, and uh, take on a little bit of caramelised colour at, at the edges. So what we've got going on in here now is just right. We've got a little bit of browning on the, on the edges of those leeks. And I would say everything is just about ready now to go into the, into the slow cooker. So now we've got the, the pan that's got loads of bits of leeks and meat juices stuck and, and burnt onto it. The temptation might be just to throw that in the dishwasher or in the, in the sink and start washing it up. But all of this here is flavour and it's really essential that we capture that and put it in our pie. So the heat goes back on and I've got some good quality beer, old speckled hen, fine ale and I'll put a good glug of that in there to deglaze the pan. And we'll just simmer this away and with a non-scratching spatula I'm just going to work away at the bottom of the pan there to dissolve all of those little bits of juice and burnt meat juices so that we don't lose any of that flavour. We could use wine for this. Red wine and beef goes very well. So what we've got there is, is actually almost a gravy already. There's our slow cooker. Already got the beef and leeks in there. And I'll just tip in now the rest of that juices out of the pan. One or two more things, just generous pinch of dried mixed herbs. Drain the milk off the pieces of kidney and in they go. And then more of this beer. Really just enough, well there you go, the rest of the bottle. Just make sure all of the meat is nicely submerged. And then that's going to go on to cook on the low setting in my slow cooker for six or seven hours. Okay, so here we are. This is at the end of about uh, six hours of cooking in the slow cooker. I just want to have a look at this meat and show you what's happened here. What's actually happened is all of the connective tissue inside this meat has broken down and dissolved. And what we're left with is really, really nice tender beef there that's perfect for a pie filling. In fact, it's just falling apart, look. So what I'm going to do, I'll let that cool down. I'll turn the slow cooker off now. I'm going to let that cool down and I will carefully pick out all these pieces of meat and put them on a, on a tray. All of the rest of the, the liquid I will then blend and thicken to make a nice gravy and then we'll assemble a pie out of this. Okay, so this is my finished pie. This is a steak and kidney pie. All I did is I made a short crust pastry, packed the meat inside, I liquidised all the leeks and the rest of the gravy and thickened that a bit and poured some more over the top. So let's have a look inside. Oh, look at that. That's just amazing. And we've got, see the meat? Remember how that was, that looked quite tough when we cut it all up, but look at that now. That's just completely falling apart. And we've got nice little pieces of, uh, of kidney in there as well for flavor. So there was just a bit of extra gravy. So I'm just gonna have that over the top. Look at that, that's absolutely fantastic. I've got to taste that. Make sure I get a little bit of kidney there. Oh, superb, absolutely superb. And you can taste the steak, you can taste the leeks, you can taste the beer that it was cooked in. Tasted a little bit of the kidney there, just as a seasoning. Absolutely fantastic. 